the Biden administration announced Tuesday it is seeking alternative sources of fuel in the Middle East, North Africa, Asia and the U.S. because Russia, which provides about a third of Europe's fossil fuel, could cut off shipments amidst escalating conflict over Ukraine. Russia, which depends on fuel revenues for 36% of its national budget, has benefited from soaring oil prices, which hit a seven-year high of $87.51 per barrel January 18. Prices could hit $100 a barrel in 2022 and continue rising in 2023, Goldman Sachs projects. Additionally, Russia's 2021 oil and gas revenues exceeded forecasts by 51. 3%, totaling $119 billion, the Russian Ministry of Finance reported. However, these benefits to Russia have been offset by tension with NATO over Ukraine, fueling fears of sanctions and other supply disruptions. Tuesday, the MOEX Russia index had fallen 14. 57% year-to-date amidst sell-offs triggered by the Ukraine crisis. Following a brief recovery in mid-January, the ruble fell to about 79 against the dollar Monday, a 14-month low. Proposed responses to a Russian invasion of Ukraine include cancelling the activation of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, an $11 billion natural gas pipeline connecting Russia to Germany and capable of moving 55 billion cubic meters of natural gas to Europe annually. Delaying activation of the pipeline which could deprive Russia of tens of billions of dollars in revenue. The EU currently relies on Russia for about 34% of its natural gas and about 27% of its crude oil. 40 billion. That's how many cubic meters of natural gas Russia normally supplies to Europe annually via Ukraine, according to the White House. The Russian government has announced plans to gradually reduce its use of oil, gas and coal. The world economy is focused on a gradual transition to low-carbon energy, said Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mashustin. And this is already a new reality. You.